Hey gang, Scott here. Well, On One just released a 2024.1 update to Photo Raw, and I mean like just now, I got this thing like 30 minutes ago, and this couldn't wait. This is a big deal for us. The masking properties window, the text, the blending thing that's always in your way when you're trying to work on a photo, well, there is a much better solution for that in the 2024.1 update. Let me show you what you're gonna do to uh, to get this window to be uh, to be more usable for you when you're doing your masking work. So we all know the problem where you 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 got a filter, you want to do some mask on it, you click on the masking thing, and you get this this properties window, and it's just never in the place that you want it to be. It's just occupying too much real estate on the screen. You know, you don't keep it collapsed like this because you want to get to these these sliders. Uh, and this is when you're doing blending, when you're doing masking, or you're doing text work. This thing is just it, it occupies space, right? So with the 2024.1 update, you've got a couple of options. You can have it nested and docked on the left hand side and you can have it auto collapse or you can combine both of those features together so where do you find that you go up to your menus in window you'll see a new thing called properties and so right now i'm showing it so i can hide it if i want to nest is what puts it over in the left hand area right so now it's up top here this is still kind of taking up a lot of space but i can click on the masking tab and you know, reveal it or collapse it as necessary. And if you like that behavior, what you can do is in that same window properties area, turn on auto collapse. And you'll notice it goes away. So if I'm I'm masking and I'm adjusting, you know, uh, the let me go to masking here. I'm adjusting the density of my mask, my feather, or so forth. I'm controlling the sliders here. As soon as I move away, and I, my my attention is now back to doing masking work that thing collapses. Now, you don't have to have it always sitting in uh, in the, the left hand, or sorry, the right hand pane. You can have this collapse capability work even when it's a floating window. And that's how I think I'm gonna be using it. So what I'm gonna do back here in the window properties area is turn off nest. And now I have this little floating thing. And I'll tuck that up here in the upper right because that's pretty close to where the rest of my toolbar is. And so I'm doing masking. I'm doing whatever I need to do. When I need to make a change to something, change regions or change sliders, I'll just move on over to this little floating you know, inspector window. And as soon as I move off the tab, it's out of my way again. And this is much more manageable than uh, when it was a gigantic floating window here. So I think that's how I'm going to use it. And uh, I wouldn't even mind seeing it uh, be able to like, you know, dock up in the toolbar itself. Uh, I'm always running full screen, so I keep the toolbar active. That would be helpful for me. But you know, maybe I'll see that in another update. But uh, that I, I wanted to make sure I shared with you. I know uh, many of us have had some frustrations with that floating properties inspector window, and it's never being in a good spot. This is a welcome update, and uh, you can get that in 2024.1. If you own PhotoRaw 2024, that's a free update to you. So uh, look for that email. I don't know when it will show up in the check updates thing in the product, but you should be getting notified about it soon if you haven't already. That's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.